Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Joyo Jackman. And the Jackman is one of these series of the Bantamp amps. And um, what's interesting about the Jackman is they take the letter J, C, and M and make it a little kind of brighter so you can see it. Uh, so obviously, J, C, M, you're going for the Marshall sound. So let's talk about its features and what I found interesting and what I think was good but maybe could be better. So let's talk about the first thing. It has an effects loop, which is a really great feature. Um, the uh, putting reverb delay in there sounds fantastic. I, there's no issues with the effects loop. It doesn't degrade the sound. It doesn't uh, drop the volume level. Everything works great. Loud, they're plenty loud. Um, I can't say it's giggable, but I could definitely say, say this. Both the uh, Jackman and the Blue Jay, the two I've, I've kind of tried, they're as loud as my Princeton reverb over here. So uh, that tells you a lot, about 90 decibels. So. Um, Giggable, it would depend on your type of band and type of music. But they are loaded with features, so let's talk about that. It, this one has two channels. You can switch between the clean and dirty, and we'll give a demo of that right now. Let's do the dirty first. <laughs> So now that you've heard the overdrive sound, let's switch to the clean and kind of listen to how that sounds. Now, one interesting thing about this is it has a Bluetooth feature. That's right, it hooks up to your phone. So that is really effortless. In fact, I downloaded the uh, the uh, the Bluetooth app, uh, it took a few seconds. Every time I turn uh, my phone on to Bluetooth, it recognizes the band tamp and it really wants to connect with it. What's nice is there's a switch on here that lets you turn the Bluetooth off. So if you don't want your phone or tablet kind of trying to always connect to this thing, you can shut that off. And even better, the LED goes from red to blue to let you know the Bluetooth is engaged. So whether you see the switch or not, the light tells you everything. Now, the other thing that's really cool is it has a headphone jack, so you can use it for private late at night jams. The only downfall is uh, with the Bluetooth is the Bluetooth signal is not as strong as the guitar signal with my Samsung phone. Although I think with the tablet it was slightly louder, so different devices might have different kind of variables in that. It was usable and it was plenty loud, but I'm just saying I would like it to have been a bit, of, a little bit of smoother mix. But given that the technology is new and this is the only one out there like this, it was doing great. Let's check out uh, a tr clip right now of me playing guitar using a drum track I got off YouTube. So here you go. <laughs> Now, you have three controls on this. You have gain, tone, and volume, so it's very straightforward. And I just turn the gain at 10, put the tone straight up at 12 o'clock, and then use the volume how I want. Let's go ahead and check it out with a boost pedal. I'm gonna use the Dane Electro Billionaire 
boost uh, pedal and put it in front of it and let's see how it sounds once we kick it like a real Marshall amp would sound. <laughs> So as you can tell, that was kind of like a fire breathing animal there. It sounded really good. I really impressed with the amp. There's uh, nothing really I could want except for, I think the Bluetooth being a little louder would be a nice feature. And that's about it. <laughs> the size is great. It looks cool. Um, it's kind of reminds me of taking a little lunchbox, literally a lunchbox amp um, to work or school. It looks great and um, 20 watts. So it's, uh, and it's 150 bucks. So I, I've been really impressed and I've been holding out on this to kind of see, uh, you know, would I change my mind over time? Did I, did they wear off? Now I know some of you are probably curious about the Blue Jay and the Blue Jay uh, is basically the Blues Junior by Fender. Um, and the Blue Jay is just like this, except for it's just clean. This is a better pedal platform amp. So we'll do a video on that as well, showing you how that sounds uh, with a pedal platform. And uh, so look forward to that video. Well, guys, I want to thank you for checking out the Bantam amp with me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, know your gear.